Jag blir ordentligt mycket. little village here and um, we actually stayed overnight as you saw in a motorhome or a pub stopover and this I think is somewhere where we could probably live right in Dartmoor uh, National Park and things like this here so public toilets open all day parking £1.30 <laughs> um, recycling probably better equipped in most large towns um, and just beautiful just beautiful so just having a little bit of an early morning, it's just after 7 o'clock, early morning wander around the village and then we're going to go back and grab some breakfast and I think we can actually check out this, this church. We actually met someone who lives here and he says the church is open because he has the keys. So yeah, if you're ever passing through Dartmoor, highly recommend coming to Woodcombe. Um, we actually stayed at the Old Inn, which was lovely. There is another pub in the village which we've been... Um, informed is <coughs> uh, so the better pub just for you know traditional pub eels the the inn is more of a foodie still nice beer in there so come check out Woodcombe Woodycombe it's three miles from Hayter and six miles from Bobby Tracy here ends this morning's orientation morning work all over we're heading up to Whitsman's Wood in Dartmoor and kind of somewhere I wanted to visit for a long, long time from a photography point of view. So it's along this bridal track for about half an hour's walk or so. So parked up at tonight's spot. What a view. Anyway, I think we both agree it may be gin o'clock. Although well, those pigs are making me hungry. Oh, and you wouldn't let me buy sausages. Because of the pigs. <laughs> but tonight, I'm actually going to cook spectacular. Tune in in a minute to see what I'm cooking. It's going to be good. I see you've already got part of it out. And it fell out the fridge. Oh, yeah, our overly stacked fridge. Right. Well, someone else has eaten already. He always eats first. And then it's our turn. Do you remember that game we used to play <laughs> up in Scotland where we were hunting for a digital TV signal? Turns out all we had to do was come to Cornwall. How many channels? 95 programs at 16%. 95 programs. 32 radio and 18 data. I don't even know what data channels are. 95 programs, 94 of which will be Jeremy Kyle, I bet you. Shame the World Cup isn't on tonight. Bodes well for the rest of the week though. How many now? 108 and we're at 31%. And we'll be here for one day. It's a lot of TV to watch. <laughs> While someone's enjoying her 103 channels, I'm slaving over a hot fridge monkey. Actually, not really slaving. Inside those bad boys, some chorizo and some Philadelphia. Mmm, mm, make all the right noises. And it's so good that I didn't want to stop eating. So, whenever we were sitting, so actually, we're still in the little farm shop that we parked in last night. Just waiting it for it to open and then we're going to go and get some sausages. Last week when Nicola was in doing the laundry in... Wareham? Wareham. There you go. Um, she met a crazy old witch. She might not have been a witch. Um, who told her that she was going to win the lottery. So Nicola bought a lottery ticket. And I don't think we got one number. We got one. So she's either not a witch or she's the world's worst witch. So, anyway, so once we're finished here, we're off to Clove Hill, Clove Hive, Coat Hill or something, Coat Tails, um, <clears throat> which is a National Trust property, and then we are off to Mevagissi. Um, we're going to actually be staying in the officially sanctioned overnight parking uh, place for camper vans, which is just outside the little village, because of course we don't drive our cars into the village. Because what happens, Nicola? You reverse into stone walls. And by you, she means... Me. Mm. 
And it wasn't even my car. Yeah, hire a car. Last time we were in Mevagesi. <laughs> <clears throat> there is rumours and rumours of rumours that there may be cream teas on offer in Mevagesi. But we'll wait to see where we get down there. So Mevagesi, if you've never been, beautiful little fishing port down in Cornwall. <coughs> oh yes, we're in Cornwall now. Um, so she didn't get her Devon cream tea. So. Or my Dorset. Double up in Cornwall, I say. Or my Dorset, because I wasn't allowed one. Is an echo in here? Echo in here? Wasn't allowed. Wasn't allowed. Anyway. Next time you get ignored. National Trust. Mevagissi. Job done. last little thing isn't going to make any sense to you guys because completely different social media platform <laughs> sorry didn't realize so all we did there was poke nicola's bazookas at you some people might like that yeah, subscribers <laughs> bing 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 So here we are, we've arrived at Coat. I'm gonna call it Coat Tales, Coat Hill. Um, I'll put the name there. Um, so National Trust property again. Um, so we're just gonna go and mooch around here. We've got a couple of National Trust, Trust properties to do today. Um, and maybe a brewery as well. Ooh. Right, as usual, pee stop first of all. Unlike me, the camel. Most things to see and do in the UK, or at the top of a very steep hill. So I think Nicola is starting a new trend in walking shoes. Well, we were coming to a National Trust house. How was I to know there was like an even pass? They should tarmac everything. <laughs> yes, again, I still haven't transitioned to proper traveler. I'm wearing a flunchy skirt too, so I wouldn't worry about it. We came across a little bumblebee down here that unfortunately we don't have any sugary water. I'd love to give us some sugary water. I've got energy sweets. It won't take it. It needs... It... I'll put a bit of saliva with it. <sighs> You'll kill the damn thing. You're really going to spit on an energy sweet. Yeah. Oh, she's doing it, folks. I'm not going to let you watch this here. Hang on. How to save a bee. <laughs> Yay! Get me. You don't see that on Spring Watch. How to save a bee? Spit on it? No, with glucose sweets. Just uh, needed some sugar. I think it's kind of off like, like a mentaler. Wow. <laughs> it was disgusting to watch though. <laughs> It doesn't matter, we just saved a life. Okay. So walking down here and we find the entrance to a fairy house. Shh. However, Nicola has just informed me that she thought it was a... A squirrel's house. So for the first time on this trip, I'm tempted to go in cognito and go back through the bakery. Oh my goodness me. Oh, the little buns and the flapjacks. Seriously. They were incredible. Absolutely, inc I mean, probably, yeah, just incredible. I'm off to get a, a false beard to see whether I can go back in through and have some more. Anyway, water wheel. Not half as interesting as that bacon. Oh my lord. 
Nicola's still in there. She's getting the recipe, so I expect wonderful baking to happen soon. In fact, I think we could probably do some of that baking in our Ridge Monkey. So, we have arrived in Mevagissi. We have been here a couple of times before. Beautiful, beautiful little Cornish fishing village. And the great thing about it is for vanners is the Willow Car Park allows overnight camper vans. Eight quid, which is absolutely awesome. Toilets 90 yards away from um, the thing. They're not open all night, but hey, um, just up that road. Somewhere. is where Nicola crashed the car so yeah we won't be going up there anytime soon we've already checked out that the fish and chip shop it doesn't shut to eight o'clock so fish and chip by the harbors mm. so apologies in advance for not showing you the fish and chips but it was a mission to keep the seagulls off the lady beside us I think had one of her fish bits taken away so we came down to Mevagissi and one of the things we wanted to do was have fish and chips outside on the harbour mm. and that's what we did. Mm. Now, I'm not sure if I've mentioned this place before but there's a place in Northern Ireland just outside Belfast, which is in Belfast, called the Bethany. Hands down the best fish and chips known to man ever. Doesn't kind of hold the torch to that but still for harbour fish and chips sitting outside not, bad. not too shabby mm -hmm. no <clears throat> big as well um, and actually good value um, so if you're, <clears throat> if you're not a huge eater go for the small cotton chips but really good um, we of course made schoolboy error because we ended up buying bread today not that I needed bread to be honest but we obviously in the van brought our own vinegar and salt and then proceeded to forget so we were sort of saying to the girl more vinegar more vinegar more vinegar I think she went, get out. I'm going to start charging for your vinegar. Watch, 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 watch. These bad boys here. Hmm? Sneaky bugger. <laughs> the ones that sit on top of your roof and go, wah, bah, 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 bah. And the thing about it is, birds like this, you can see them working the shit out. Anyway, fish and chips was done. Thirsty now? Well, that was pretty epic. That's one eyed Jack, the seal. And you can see why he hangs around there because there's a fresh fish uh, van. And apparently, well. <laughs> yeah. and apparently, she's given him four mackerel, or she's given about 20 mackerel, and people have bought him about four mackerel today. So. That's one-eyed Jack. Time to wander back into Mevagissi. Walking dead. I thought that was your stomach there. <laughs> it was the motorboat. <laughs> and maybe a wee episode of Walking Dead. <laughs> 